Hey everybody, this is Bitchin' and Prayin', and I don't usually let people into my uh, pantry, so I feel special. <laughs> but I wanted to show you a little bit what I have left in my prepper pantry. I have um, just went through and moved things forward that need to be used. We'll start at the top. Now, when you see my floor, don't go, oh, what are they living in? Remember, uh, several years ago, we had flood in this area, and... I had to pull up this actually was a finished basement now it's a cellar but everything's super clean here it just looks crazy even at the top this stuff is all prepper stuff um it's a brand new blow dryer um up there is that's body wash big big bottles of stuff I have a line of um alcohol up there some of it's just the 50 percent proof I just have a couple bottles and then I have body wash, and that's um, just a brush. I just moved some stuff down. Um, and then I have one box that is all soap and bath items. And behind that is another one that is lotions and sunscreens. And um, behind the, the um, blow dryer is a box of vitamins and a box of first aid type um, items like our stethoscope and stuff like that looks a little messier looking through this but everything's really straightened up then down here is my baking type shelf see a bunch of Oreos back there we got them for 70 cents a package at Big Lots on the clearance shelf double stuff Oreos we just got those 70 cents a package going down Got some cereal in the back. We got some dry, this is more dry goods type shelf, except for a thing of stew that I set there that I was actually going to put in this box down here. Um, and like rice mixes, mashed potato flakes, um, my bigger thing of vegetable oil, and some of my pastas. And then the bag you see there has like all my gravy mixes, my taco seasoning mix, stuff like that. Or any um, stuffing mixes in the back. And then I also have my uh, dry drink mixes all the way to the back. Things are a little low, but we're living kind of off the pantry right now. And then step back. I moved everything behind me to the front. We have our, like I call them specialty soups. <laughs> Small bottles of um, olive oils that I got a deal on. Oh, fell over back there. The Pam thing when I was moving the water. Can of Pam. Um, jams, syrups, and then condiments. Um, peanut butters. Got ramen. And then behind that I have, because it's heavy, I put the heavier stuff to the bottom. Flowers, sugars, they're all wrapped. So nothing gets into them. Down at the bottom is the canned goods. It's the tomato type things, the beans, and then it goes vegetables and fruits. There's nothing to my madness because everything gets moved and dusted all the time. And then Got a couple cases of water, three cases of water. And then down here on the floor, I have the shampoos, hair products in a little tub. And then got the dehumidifier going with that cord. There is a case of um, cream soups and tomato, more tomato products. Like I said, ignore this floor. It's clean. It just had to have everything pulled up on it years ago. Also, where a tub where I keep my um, single serve um, fruits when I get deals on them, and we also throw in the, the had it had to get rid of a box that had crackers in it, and then an open sleeve of crackers that we got at the food pantry. So I wanted to keep it locked up tight. We also got work pop. You know that Sasquatch needs his work pop, and then we have a case that has green beans. And I think there's a uh, one of peas, and then below it one of um another one of different 
um, tomato products down below. Now over here I have one of, this one just has, it does usually have different pasta products. This one has more pasta, these Loctite, and this one has my beans and rice. Some pop for when the grandkids come over, we keep two liters, we don't give them cans or bottles of pop, just like small glasses. This here, well this has some Capri Sun we had for Easter little ones and then cans that need to be used up and that's my um oatmeal i think i got a deal on last year at sam's club that's getting finished up i just moved everything down right here it's usually up on this shelf not the shelf behind me a different one right here but i brought it down so i could show you some of the little waters i buy about one of them a year so we use those um for the holidays at the look they come 80 of them because otherwise people take the big ones and don't finish them so we buy one thing of the little ones there's the lunch chips and granola bars. You know, we buy those for the lunches. You know my deal on those. And then this tub is, um, usually the coffee goes up over here, but I didn't have room for it. it has all different sorts of things. It's, it's stacked in there nice. It's things that don't go on the shelf over here. It's different kinds of items. Um, that one there has a lot of... Um, Tuna, um, Mamwich, um, trying to think what else, uh, stews, salsas, uh, things that I only have one of, one can of. It also has, um, like, what else does it have in there? Just like things I, like I said, things I only have one can of. And then my popcorn. I think my popcorn's in there right now. I do have a method to my madness, believe me, believe it or not. Like I said, we're pretty much living off the pantry right now. Like I said, things are kind of tight. We are going to have a vacation this year, and we're saving for it. So we're going through stuff that needs to be used up and ignore this floor. It's clean. It gets cleaned and mopped all the time. And then, hang on. Now, this is our small freezer downstairs. Still got these I got for... You know, for 25 cents a piece, these frozen dinners. Maya will clearance out its frozen stuff once a year, and I will be there. Um, we get the pizza deals at Sam's Club when they have deals on the four packs, and that's why I stack up. Um, I have a ham in here. I have a corned beef in here. When they have those deals, I grab them, and then we're going through them. I have the prepackaged ground beef. I'm doing, you know, I do those uh, flash food things now. Um, I have uh, lots of, um, the hot dogs, well, when they have the deals on those, the Eckridge, um, dollar ones with the, with the, uh, the cheese ones, we have lots of stuff in here. This is where we got 10 pound and five pound bag of potatoes. Then we have onions. And then this is the upstairs freezer. We still have bunches of those that I bought. This is more of the stuff. It's got some of the frozen, some french fries, this bunch of frozen meat in there and there. Got some butter. Um, I do have a bag of ice. When I get ice, I buy the big bags at Sam's Club and freeze them in these gallon bags. Um, leftovers, leftovers. I do them in these. When we're going to have them right not too far after. Um, and all of this stuff has got is written on it. What is in it? Um, anyhow, things may look crazy to you, but it really is organized. It just doesn't look like it. So. And this box here has all our hygienic items in here. I buy them when they're on sale, when they're on clearance, when there's a deal, when I have coupons. Built them up over the years. Years. Well, yeah, years, but we use them. You know, we rotate. I just rotate, rotate, rotate all of my stuff. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you that you need to have a prepper pantry. You need to rotate. You need to keep it clean. You need to watch for deals. Don't pay full price. Pick up a thing at a time. Keep that prepper pantry going. And mine really is more organized than it just looked. <laughs> You missed my helper who is knocking stuff over in front of me.
Tino the Bambino. Anyhow, thanks for watching, you guys, and we will see you next time. This is Bitchin' and Prayin'. Give us a like and a share, and don't forget to subscribe.